Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is search GitHub Sherlock on Google and then press the first link that appears, which has github.com the URL. Now scroll down to the installation part once it has opened and then you can see the git clone a link and the command that's right here. You're going to copy that command and then paste it in the terminal. If you don't want to copy it, you could just copy the link and then write git clone and paste the link and press enter so it downloads. As you can see, I accidentally wrote it two times. That's why it's going to show me an error. So I don't need to do it again because I have already downloaded it. But if you don't have it downloaded, you have to first download Sherlock itself. The next thing you want to do is uh, open Sherlock by writing CD Sherlock. Then you have to download the requirements for this tool to work, which is Python 3 and Python, uh, Python 3 PIP. Now, if you don't have it, you're going to copy the following command and then paste it in terminal in Sherlock. Since I've already downloaded this before, it's going to show me an error saying the requirement has already been satisfied. As you can see, it is showing that the requirement has already been satisfied, so I already have it. Later, once it's done, you're going to write ls, and then you're going to write cd sherlock. Once it's open, you're going to write python, and then python3, and then sherlock.py, and then the username or the email of the person you're investigating. So I wrote in Instagram at of Selena Gomez. As you can see, it's starting to show me all the links she's ever clicked on or the accounts she has made through this username. This tool is actually very helpful because you can just literally look at all the websites anyone has ever been on or the ones they have made an account on using their email or their Instagram username or their Facebook username or any other username.